Have you ever looked at nature or marveled over the human body and thought to yourself, this just didn't happen. There had to be a plan. This earth with its order, everything fitting together so perfectly, this didn't just happen. There is a great God. In Psalms 104, the writer is having one of those moments, using hyperbole and metaphor to explain a feeling of awe. The psalmist praises God as the ruler of the world and the sustainer of all life. Looking at the beauty and splendor that God has created, he concludes that God is magnificent. God is robed in splendor in ways that we cannot even imagine. Living in a realm in the sky, God can be found on the clouds. He controls the wind and the flames. Borrowing from Genesis, the writer is saying, our God is omnipotent, all-powerful, omniscient, all-knowing, and omnipresent. God can be found everywhere. In this world that we live in, modern science has invented many great things. But if you think about it, man makes everything we make out of something God has already made. Only God can take nothing and make something out of it. The psalmist reminds us, reminds ancient Israel and modern Christians that are all around us are the creations of God. Man can make ships that sail to and from over the sea, but God makes the sea and makes the wood and makes the coal and steel from which we make the ships. You see, we can make nothing without God. Creatures of the sea are too numerous for us to count. Even now, with our great technology, we still find new creatures in the sea that we have never discovered. God continues to marvel us. Even as I walk into a room and tell the lights to come on and they do, or ask Google a question and an answer is instantly given to me, as we transplant hearts, as we explore nanoparticles, the human genome, and new worlds, the writer explains to us that all things are under the dominion and power of God, that we depend on God for our food, for our very breath, for the beating of our hearts, and to protect us. For modern Christians, this scripture reinforces to us that each day, every day, this day is a day to bear witness to the greatness of our God. And so, with this lesson, I ask you, have you thanked him today? Have you parted your lips to simply say, thank you, God, for the blessings you have sent my way? Have you thanked him today? Have you made a difference today? Have your actions shown that love is more than words you just say? Have you encouraged a child so that they will not stray? Have you made a difference today? Have you grown today? Have you learned something new to help others along the way? Have you strengthened your faith so that on the solid rock you will stay? Have you grown today? Every day, each day, this day is a day to bear witness to the greatness of our God. Do not miss that opportunity. That's the lesson for this week. You guys have a great week. Bye.